ATL Resell Guy. Hey, what's going on guys? ATL Resell Guy here. Thank you for watching the video and tuning in. It is my day off work today and I really was just sitting on Facebook Marketplace looking through, trying to find some deals, but I was contacted by an old friend that I went to high school with. They messaged me out of the blue and they're like, hey, check it out. Uh, I have a lot of stuff in storage that I'm just looking to get rid of. Somebody recommended you as a person that might wanna come down and take a look, pick through and see if there's anything that you wanna buy. So I said, hey, that's awesome, thank you. I will come right over. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Uh, I'm hopping in the Explorer here just for the extra cargo space because they said they have three garages full. So that may mean that I could end up buying a lot of stuff. So I just wanted to have enough space to bring it all in one trip if I end up doing something like that. So I'm on my way over there now. Let's go check it out, see what kind of treasures that we can turn up. Alright guys, so I am just a couple minutes out from my friend's house. I brought gloves and I brought a flashlight. No idea what I'm gonna find in here. I didn't get any pictures, sight unseen. You guys are gonna see all this stuff with me for the first time. Hopefully we find some good stuff to either keep or flip. Let's get after it and see what we can get. So here's just some B-roll, a quick little run through of the garages. And there was a little more stuff to be picked through inside the house as well. My friend didn't want to be on camera, so I just took this video real quick uh, before I looked through everything. All right, so one section inside, a bunch of media. This is where I'm going to start here. Got some Blu-rays, an old Atlanta tape, and a PSP. All right, found some decent stuff. There's some more baseball stuff outside that I'll go look at in a minute, but a couple gloves, a bat. I don't know about those shoes. This is really cool. Ninja Turtles little bag, dated 1989 Mirage. Recognize that brand. Just cool, graphic looks good. Old Canon handheld camera. This is pretty sweet. Uh, this Canon computer printer and yeah, it's worth about 15 20 bucks a backgammon set and this craftsman battery powered tool multi-tool it's got like a sander and a screwdriver pad as well as the jigsaw on the end i right, put together another little pile over here this uh, bat looks kind of interesting i'll have to look it up see if there's any value i know these have value these doc martens and yeah, they're in really good shape this camera bag i'm gonna stick with that other handheld camera in the other room a red Sox golf head cover and a couple golf clubs both of them tailor made i don't know if they have any value I'll have to look them up and see as well this thing's sweet taptronics all i did was open it up and see that and i am sold on that that's going in the pile for sure almost missed this drawer right here pulled it out of this a little side table and dug around found ti-83 calculator good stuff manual for the calculator that's cool and the power supply for the psp excellent all right guys so i'm heading out now leaving my friend's house after spending about two hours there digging through three garages worth of just stuff that's been in storage for years and years came across some pretty good stuff uh, some things that i'm gonna keep some things that i'll end up reselling put a pile together out on the driveway offered a hundred bucks uh she wasn't too keen on that said i was lowballing her <laughs> i said hey you know it's one of those things i don't really know like the worth of a lot of this stuff i don't know if everything's gonna work there's some condition issues that you have to factor in as well when things have just been in storage and sitting for a long time uh she counted out 120 and said that's fine i think that's fair for everybody so i'll get back to the house lay it out kind of show you everything that i got 
and uh, let's see if there's some good things in here to resell and make a little bit of money. All right, so everything laid out on the ground here and on these two little side tables. Let's just go through real quick. Uh, right in front of me, a Canon camera. Looks like it's gonna need to be parts of repair. That's not looking good in there, but it does have a lens. A Canon handheld camera. It's got a charger. Hopefully there's a battery. Somewhere in here, not uh, the battery on the back of the camera there, so I'll be able to test it out and see if that works. A old Dell computer, Latitude CPX. Ooh, yeah, it's gonna need a little cleaning, but it has a extra CD drive, which is kind of cool that this is a just like a plug and play. CD drive and it's got the power supply there. Got four baseball bats and two golf clubs. Got four baseball gloves. Three of them are catcher's mitts. One of them's just an outfitter's mitt. This guy here, which I don't really know too much about. Tektronic digital real-time oscilloscope. No idea how I'm gonna test that thing, but it looks like it's in good condition. These Doc Martens. Look like they're in good condition, size eight. This ripper, rip stick. It's got like overspray paint all over it. Probably just sell that Facebook marketplace. Over here on the table, a TI-83 calculator. Should have looked in there. A lot of corrosion, that's okay. Maybe we can clean it up. PSP, and I did find the power supply, it's around here somewhere. The head knockers, curly in the box. Don't think that has any value. Blu-rays, those are just for me, throw in my collection. Santa on a shelf. Looks like it's never been on a shelf before. A selfie CP510 Canon printer. Looks like it's open box. Travel Scrabble and a back game and set. This Yingling, kind of nice, 180th anniversary framed artwork. Uh, these two Top Golf pants, I don't really know what these are, but they're brand new Top Golf. Figure someone might want them. This power drill, which I plugged in, let the battery charge for a while, and then test it out and it wasn't doing anything, so I'll just sell the parts. It has the charger, which I think works, and this drill accessory and sander accessory as well. Could probably sell those parts. Very cool, vintage Ninja Turtles duffel bag, dated 1989, pretty good condition. And this Fireball uh, inflatable bottle, which I guess you just inflate and hang up on the wall. So yeah, everything just went through, picked up for $120, plus the cost of gas, which I used about a third of a tank getting there and back. At the gas prices right now, that's about $25. So let's say I have $145 invested in it. Hopefully I can double up on this, I would imagine. But I'm gonna do a little cleaning before I can get any of this stuff processed. And I'll just do a little homework and see if there's anything that jumps out as far as significant value.